Hi, so today we're going to have a quick look at the Geo, the GeoPal GJD04C uh, control panel for um, gas detection. So this is a, a two-channel version. There's also a single channel, but um, th this particular one will take um, take two detectors. So um, I mean, pretty straightforward. You have a, a switch here which toggles the detector on or off. We have a alarm one and alarm two a fault indication, a test and a reset. So the, the test will just fire the relays within the panel to give a, an output on the, the relay to whatever you have. Um, when you're happy that you need to reset your alarm, you have a you have a reset that you can toggle here. So it's pretty neat, pretty straightforward. It's, you know, it, it, it's on off, um, fairly straightforward. I've taken a couple of screws out here already to, um, so I can get into this a little bit handier here for the video, but um, it, it, it's pretty well screwed up. Um, so if you can see this here, this is the uh, the terminations. Nice um, nice cable entry arrangement here along the bottom. Um, good size, uh, slightly um, slightly offset here, just so you can get into it nice and handy. There's your mains input. These are your two detectors, A, B, C, S. And when we look inside the um, look inside the detector in the other video, you'll see where the the terminations are for these. So on this particular one, we've detector one, detector two. On the zero two C version of this, we we just have a single input for for one detector. Um, alarm uh, one one and one two would be uh, the the high sensitivity and the standard sensitivity. So we we set the sensitivity of the alarms using um, potentiometers inside here. So we'll we'll have a look at that in a second. And obviously your mains input. So. Um, pretty straightforward. Nice, uh, nice cable entry here. Good size, good size for for your terminations, everything else. And there's an option to come um, back entry on this as well, if that suits your your arrangement. Um, typically, you see these they're they're they go into kitchens and boiler houses and things like that. And this is a, a calibratable version of this. There's gas detection out there where you put in the detector and you put in the panel, and once a year or so you have to you you have to change the detector because they're factory calibrated and there, there's nothing more can be done with it. Whereas these ones are, we can put a, a, a given, a known type of gas, a, a calibrated type of gas into the system once a year or every six months when we're doing our, our routine testing and maintenance, recalibrate the system and make sure everything's working uh, as expected. So we'll, we'll have a, a, a quick look at that. So um, there's four screws holds this in. It's just one second, I'll have them out here. So inside here, um, just a, a, a quick look, we have a, a buzzer, a sounder inside here that goes off when the when the gas detector activates. And you can actually mute this um, permanently. There's a, a, a tab here for turning that on and off. Um, this is the only user replaceable part inside here, which is a, a, a fuse for the system. And kind of the business end of this, the, the important stuff here is um, on the back of the main control board. So we have one which is obviously for detector one and detector two. So depending on which one you're working on, we can set, um, we can set this to automatically reset um, for activations on the high and the low alarm. And that depends on how you set these, these jumper switches. Um, generally, we don't set any alarms to automatically reset because if, if we've detected gas in a boiler house or a kitchen or something like that, we tend to want to switch off the gas, have it investigated, before we manually turn it back on. So while it may be an advantage for your particular requirement, generally we don't set these to auto, auto reset. And these are your um, alarm one and alarm two. So your high or standard sensitivity alarms. Uh, these are the potentiometers for setting that. And how we do that is we discharge a, a, a known gas at a given parts per million quantity um, I, I, into the detector and we then set the, this and it determines the voltage that's going through the system and gives us the the required alarm so that's the um the that's the panel itself it's a nice neat unit um pretty self-contained and that's what you put in if you had a requirement for for two gas detectors okay um we'll have a, a quick look at one of the detectors also so I'll just pop that aside So 
So this here is the, the relevant detector to go with that panel and this is the Geopal GJC and um, when we open this up you see, you see on the inside the, the four terminations that marry up with the, the four terminations on um, on the inside of this so the ABCS and it, it's, it's pretty straightforward you, you can't really go wrong with it. Um, this is your cable entry here so you, you, you gland into that side of it and then this is the actual um, gas detection end of it so you you would uh, this is where you come put your gas for your calibration and your your testing end of it uh, once you have them sighted correctly so that's the that's the detector on that and that's the panel if you have any queries on um, gas detection or, or how you might connect up your gas detection to interface with other systems on your site give us a call in the office or you can email us on info at comsec.ie so that's just a very quick overview of a two-channel gas detection panel Thanks. Bye.